Hey folks, real quick, just letting you know, uh, this video that you're about to watch, uh, I throw out some dates and times and things like that, uh, which would have made plenty of sense if I had placed this video online when I finished it. I, of course, did not because I suck. Uh, that's unfortunately the existence that I am. Uh, regardless, I'm back onto my schedule, letting you guys know. So don't, don't count any of those dates. Hey folks, Sylvius here. This is Leaf 99. We are one episode away from Leaf 100, in which I want to do something special for it. Um, to exemplify whatever that special thing is in it, I'll be hunting <laughs> dorks trying to get those last two bass skirts that I need uh, for now. Um, so this, this video will be particularly boring. But, yeah, so I'm going to go try to get those bass skirts. Um, before I do that, though, or as I'm doing that, I should say, let me, uh, yeah, let me just ignore these monsters. Whatever. Did not bring my shield with me, actually. I dropped that off. Yeah, I left that behind. Um, which, in hindsight, might not have been the best choice, but whatever. I'll probably be fine without the shield. It's not like dwarks are super deadly or anything like that. That said, since I did bring throwing weapons specifically so that I could use them, I probably should have brought the, uh, the shield. But whatever. Again, whatever. Now it should be hole down around here. So, yeah, on the topic of Leaf 100, I do want to do something kind of special for it. I'm just not sure what that something special should be and where is the hole down. Hold down, found. Boom. Boom. Ah, get the voodoo guys first. There we go. Alright, let's uh let's use up these crappy arrows. Uh there we go. And we broke the spot. Alright. Don't die on... Ah, uh, you died on top of somebody. You suck at life. All right, open a new window. I don't actually know if I can use those poison arrows, so we're going to take them just in case. Be as uh, ultra-conservative as humanly possible. Dorks drop torches. Did not know that. Yeah, so anyway, I'm looking to do something fun for my... Um, my 100th leaf video. I'm just not sure what that something th uh, fun is. Um, so I'm going to take any suggestions. So this video that I'm making right now should be my Wednesday leaf video. I'm making it in advance, which is a rare thing for me. Uh, but yeah, I'm making this video in advance. So I'm actually going to not do a Saturday leaf video. I will do a Monday leaf video. Uh, which will give me some time to allow people to input what I should do for this uh, this video. So I want, I'm just throwing this out there now, and I'll mention this again at the end of the video. I want people to kind of offer me suggestions. What should I do for my 100th Leaf video? Um, I could stream it, perhaps, uh, but I still want to do something interesting. I'll probably, yeah, I could stream it. That sounds like it would be fun. So I'll stream whatever is on the 100th Leaf video. Um, but I still need suggestions on what should I be doing. I could go hunt something fun. Um, I guess I could, like, hunt something incredibly dangerous and hope that I don't die. Um, I could go hunt something with the expressed purpose of it killing me. You know, we could go try to, well, I don't know if I could actually go, I don't know if I could get to demons anywhere on Leaf, but, like, I could go try to hunt demons or something and see how that works out. The, uh, the intended goal of it killing me. But we could go just hunt something relatively dangerous. We could go somewhere dangerous. Um, the purpose could just be to die, or I could do something silly. I don't really know. Um, if anybody has characters on Amara, which is where Leaf is, uh, maybe I could like team hunt with some people or do something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm throwing that out there, though comment on this video and come up with something. If nobody comments and offers me any suggestions, uh, I'll have to decide, and I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't have any good ideas. Dude, I'll make the entire 100th video 
me uh me like hunting in the face uh sewers we're gonna just have a rat hunt that's what i'll do guys don't let me do that for an entire video make sure that doesn't happen oh, i did not mean to hit whatever button i just hit i cast some spell that i did not mean to cast Be really awesome if I could get the bass skirt for this, by the way. I've been here for quite some time and have not gotten bass skirts. I'm getting a little irritated. Do do do. I wanted to uh, take a break though, because like Leaf uh, Leaf ninety eight was the Secret Service quest. Leaf ninety seven was the. Um, Ice Islands quest. I wanted to actually like hunt something for this one, break up the monotony a little bit. Uh, I have been doing these dwarks though. I think I did what like f this will be my fourth dwark video at this point now. Yeah, oh, nothing there. These are um, pretty solid hunting as a um, mage too. Do do do. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's like almost not really worth it to kill the flesh hunters and whatnot because like they're junk and they don't drop the thing I need, but still kind of just best. Ah, oh, man, he's like super poisoned me. What a jerk. Oh, hey, we're out of those. All right, let's see. Do the uh, poison arrows actually do anything? Okay, they do things. Good to know. Um, did I? There we go. Let's, uh, I want to cure the super poison from being in the poison field. I can, I can deal with the fact that I'm just going to always be poisoned while I'm down here, but I can't deal with taking five points of damage every click. <laughs> That's just too much. My, my fragile psyche can't handle it. All right. Yeah, all right, I'm sorry, just because I kind of noticed this. Does does this section... All right, well, when I had it like that, does that kind of not look like a penis? <laughs> just just throwing it out there. I just I just noticed it as I looked at the map. Looks looks like a wiener. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well, that was all of my, uh, my poison thingies. All my poison arrows. Switch to the throwing knives. Got another poison arrow. Do, do, do. I'm not gonna bother picking up one gold coin. That's actually not worth the effort involved in clicking on it. Regrettably, uh, I don't think my knives, okay, my knives can reach across, good to know. It's like, I don't know if I can hit them with my knives. Ugh, you suck. Ah, oh, and I just hit the wrong button again. All right, so when I play, um, my political dude, FDR. The button that is um, Divine Strike is Flame Strike for him. And um, if I hit Control that button, it does whatever the like starter Dawn Guard or um, Dawn Port, that's the word I'm looking for. It does whatever the starter Dawn Port um, Strike spell is so that I can finish off enemies that have incredibly low HP. So that's my like finish this fight quickly and not need to wait for another basic attack button. Um, and I'm stuck in that mentality. But for Leaf, that button is um, Utura. So I keep accidentally casting Utura when I mean to just be killing off the enemy that has incredibly low HP. She'll note is kind of the exact opposite. It's not dealing a small amount of damage to finish off an enemy that's got low HP. It's using a large amount of my mana. Generally sucks all around. But yeah, guys, wow, these leaf videos, almost 100 leaf videos. It's craziness. Craziness. It's like, uh, I've been doing leaf for a year and a half now about, I think. That sounds about right. I think I started to leave now. We're probably closer to two years now that I think about it. Let me, uh, hold on. I'm going to actually check that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Videos. I need to go to playlists. Uh, leave.
leaf, leafy leaf. Technically, if you consider the uh, like the various leaf death videos and also the um, came out six hundred and nine days ago, June twenty third was my first leaf video. So almost two years at this point. I mean, we're like kind of the end half of February. That gives me, what, March, April, May? It's getting close. Getting close. Do, 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 do. It's been a really long time since I've been doing these videos. I've been doing these videos for about two years now. Hold on. All right, wait. Let's go back. Back to the wiki. <laughs> or not back to the wiki. Back to my channel. Um. Is the easiest way for me to do this to just go through my video list, or is the easiest way for me to do this to go through my playlists? This is an excellent question. Yep. I have multitudes of pages upon pages of videos, it looks like. I'm trying to figure out what my first video was also. Come on, friend, you can do it. Also, am I regenerating? Probably not, it looks like, at this point. Wow, yeah, I have just multitudes of pages of videos. Crap. Also, fun little fact, right? Um, <laughs> and no part of it is fun. Uh, the little, like, list of page numbers on the YouTube, like, video manager is at the bottom of the list of all the videos, but when I first open it, it takes a second for all the videos to load, so, like, nothing is showing up there, so for a short, short second, the, the, like, next page is actually at the top, and if I quick enough, I can click on that and not have to wait for all the things to load, and I can get straight to the next one. But if I'm too slow, I have to scroll all the way down. However, if I'm just too slow, uh, it pops up, or it pops up like as I'm clicking, <laughs> and then I click on the wrong thing. All right, so my first uh, my first videos were actually FTL videos. Um, I did a run on the FTL hard mode with the Zoltan C, the Cernikov, I think it's called, and I did three videos, kind of reviewing the ships and offering my opinions on them. Um, and those came out on May 11th. And then I did uh, the Arena Scrapper on my knight, Dowdow, who was 58 at the time. Uh, May 11th. And then Dowdow Lion's Rock and Bibby Bloodbath. And then more FTL stuff. So that was all May 11th is when I did my first videos. Now that's almost at the two-year anniversary. I'm surprised I've been doing this for so long. I'll, like, I'll be honest with you guys. Um... Things that I've done uninterrupted for that amount of time in my life are very, very limited. I'm thinking, um, I think I played Puzzles and Dragons on my phone for about two and a half years. Um, I'm pretty confident of that fact, that I played Puzzles and Dragons for about that amount of time. But, like, in the past, I've never played Tibia uninterrupted for this amount of time. Uh, I always take, like, a break from it, because, you know, I get, like, I'll die and get frustrated and just be like, all right, oh, look at that, best skirt, look at that, boom, 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 shakalaka. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just need one more of these now. Um, but, yeah, like, I'll just get frustrated or bored of it and then not play it for six months, maybe a year, maybe two. I mean, I've been playing Tibia on and off since, like, 2005. Um, Skyrim I've been playing for more than a year, or more than two years, but not uninterrupted. I mean, I take, like, large breaks from Skyrim. I'm trying to think if there's any game that I've just played largely uninterrupted, like uh, like Skyrim. And I, I don't think there is. 
I'm sorry, not like Skyrim. Like, uh, like I have been with doing these videos. Wow, I just fell apart with what I'm saying. Uh, even, like, outside of games, like, I don't think there's a hobby or a thing I've really done for this amount of time. Besides, like, working, obviously. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, when I had that job. The, the, uh, grocery store one. Not the gas station one. Um. I know there is a, uh, voodoo dude. There we go. Um, obviously, you know, I worked at that place for five years, and, you know, I went to, like, high school for however long. But I don't really think, um... There's really been nothing that I've focused on largely uninterruptedly for nearly as long as I have been making these videos. We're almost at two years on these videos, and I'm thinking, like, when I was a kid, I was in Boy Scouts, but that was, like, a once-a-week thing, and I think that probably lasted for, like, two or three years, but like I said, that was a once-a-week thing. Um, I was in Little League when I was a kid, but I think that was also only two years, and that was a once-a-week thing for, like, springtime. Um, I guess I was in, um, I'm going to be a little bit more nerdy than I normally am. I was in a Dungeons and Dragons club in high school for two years, but that was again, a, like a once a week thing. I think though worth mentioning is like, unlike the Boy Scouts and the Little League, while my parents were kind of like, you should do this. And I was like, okay. Um, the Dungeons and the Dragons Club was actually a a thing I chose for myself. Um, like, I joined that club. I was invited, obviously. It's not like I, I didn't seek that club out. Uh, one of my, like, friends was like, hey, do you want to join this club? We're, like, forming it. I ended up being one of the charter members of that club, come to think of it. Um... But that was something, like, I specifically chose for myself. Um, other hobbies, I mean, like, I don't really consider reading manga or, like, watching anime to be a hobby, so I don't, I don't count that. Not in the sense that I'm doing something, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not in the same vein as making these videos. <laughs> um... I, when I was when I first started to write I think I may have been working on one single story for about a year um, but I'm not a hundred percent certain on that fact so I don't know if I can include that yeah I don't really think I've ever spent two years voluntarily on a single task before <laughs> this is uh this is sad but yeah and these like these uh these videos are not necessarily an everyday thing. But they're definitely like a three or four times a week thing. Like, uh, you know, if you guys had seen my, um, like, behind the scenes one where I was kind of explaining, like, what goes into these videos, like, I put a decent amount of effort and time into these videos. I'm legitimately surprised, uh, that I've ever, that I, I've been continuing this long. I feel like, uh, most of the reason why I've continued for so long, though, I, I, is because, like, this was, okay, so this was my friend's suggestion suggestion to make these. He was, was like, you should uh, make, like, Let's Plays of Tibia. And I was like, I don't see any reason to do that, personally. First of all, and I'm, like, I'm pretty confident I've mentioned this before, but just in case I haven't, um, I don't personally watch Let's Plays. Occasionally, like, I did it uh, one time in Tibia, for instance, like, occasionally I'll be like, I don't know how to do this quest or get to this place. Oh, yeah, Magic Level 17. Um, yeah, I don't know how to get to this quest or get to this place or do something. So I'll look up, like, a tutorial video sort of things, which is what I started making, by the way, just tutorial videos on Sylvius. They were my, like, all right, here's where this quest is, here's how to do this boss, here's what hunting in place ABC is like, and so on. Um... That's how I started my videos. And then I started Leaf later on, when again, my friend recommended me to do, like, just a record everything kind of thing. But yeah, like, I don't watch Let's Plays. Um, I figure if there's a game I want to play, I'll just go play it myself. Like, the idea of watching another person play a video game is kind of strange to me. Uh, I do get there's the commentary aspect of things. Um, but, like, I'm the kind of person that doesn't really watch anime anymore. Like, I've stopped watching anime. 
because it's not an efficient use of my time. Like, I'm like, I can consume a story faster if it's in text. Um, so I would rather read a manga or a, a, a light novel than watch an anime, because the time spent on a single episode of an anime is just too uh, extraneous for me. Uh, that's the kind of person I am. So <laughs> the, the idea of, like, watching another person play a video game is just kind of, like... I, it's just not something I'd ever be interested in. Um, which uh, manifests in my channel in the sense that um, my videos are probably longer than like average videos and stuff like that, and I do a lot of things weirdly because I've never really watched a Let's Play video from somebody else, so I don't really know what the norm is for this uh, this type of thing. So if there's anything weird in my videos, it's because of that. That I've, like, everything here I've just done off the top of my head. It's whatever I find most interesting kind of situation. Um, which, hey, it works. For me, at least. I don't know. Sometimes I do wonder if I had done things differently. Would I have, like, way higher viewership and stuff like that? But who knows? Um, I should have attacked the Voodoo Master first. Well, he's still dead. It's all good. <coughs> Um, but yeah, when I started doing this, like, I was thinking that each of my videos would get, like, 10 views, and I would do it for maybe a month and then just give up. Uh, and I get, most of my videos get, like, 200-some views. It takes a little while for them to get there, but my, most of my videos end up with 200-some views. I get something around, like, 400 views a day, which I guess, like, I don't know, compared to, like, you know, other people, like PewDiePie or something, <laughs> uh, isn't huge, but it's still orders of magnitude more than I thought I would ever get, so. Um, just kind of riding off of that momentum is what kept me going. This sounds like a generic acceptance speech kind of thing I'm feeling like right now. But it really is, like, you know, I would not have continued watch making these videos if I wasn't getting views. Um, like, I enjoy doing it to a certain extent, but there's a lot of, like, post-production work and kind of things like that that go in behind the scenes. Also, throw in the fact that, like, talking uninterrupted for extended periods of time uh, makes my throat sore. Now, this is, like, the third Leaf video I'm making in a row, because uh, this is Wednesday's video, and um, Mon it's currently, like, Tuesday, for instance. So Tuesdays and uh, last Saturdays were late. So I just, I just made three Leaf videos in a row. It's 11.22 right now, and the last one I started at, uh, like, 9.40. So, I mean, you know, like, my, my voice is actually getting kind of scraggy, as is, and, uh, you know, I need to quickly start making some League videos after this. I want to get a, um, I have to get an Exile video down for today, because it is Tuesday, so Exile videos come out on Tuesday, and I really want to get that League video uh, out, too. So, like, you know, I still got a couple of things to do. My throat's all going to be, like, scraggly and sore. Um, it is somewhat time-consuming, also. But there's a lot of, like, post-production work and stuff like that, too. So while I do enjoy making these, and I'm not like, oh, man, I wish ever, all of my viewers would just leave and curse me out so I don't have to do these anymore. <laughs> um, if I didn't have viewers, though, I would definitely not be continuing. Um, it was, however, like, it is a learning process, and, uh, like, I'm a... I don't always act it, but... Um, I'm a firm believer that you should experience things in your life, like a lot of things at least once. Because um, I think it, like, it expands your horizons and stuff like that. You know, like everybody should work in retail or customer service at least once. Um, because like just talking to my grandmother, for instance, the times where she complains about things involving a uh, like a store or something like that, and I'm like, yeah, you know that phrase, like the customer's always right? It's a lie, and you're 100% wrong in this situation. Kind of things. Like, I think a lot of times, you know, you don't really understand the intricacies unless you've done it. Um, so I think it's good to kind of experience things like that. Work in retail for a while, work in fast food, work in customer service. See how incredibly annoying it is when, a, like, you know, specifically with my grandmother. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting a little off topic right now, but, like, specifically with my grandmother. 
she uh, constantly is like returning items that she buys from stores, and she's constantly not having her um, receipt. And she's like, well, why can't they just know that I'm the one that bought it and just give me my money back based off of what I say to them? And I'm like, yeah, okay, so imagine, if you will, that a person walks into a store that you own with an item and has no proof that they purchased it there, no proof at which price uh, they purchased it there, and then just goes, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it was like $60. Can I just have my 60 bucks back? <laughs> You'd be like, ah, uh, man, you know, like, you got to experience that from the other side, I think, to really grasp what it's like. So, I mean, like, you know, going back to where this ties in with the videos, like, making these videos has definitely been a learning experience and a, like, a process, but an experience that I'm happy that I went through. Because I think, like, you know, even if uh, I'm never going to be able to retire off of these videos or something like that, um, I do think, you know, I broaden my horizons. As, as lame as that sounds. I do think I brought in my horizons, though. I do think, like, the net gain of me making these videos was totally worth it. Um, now, I mean, like, all that being said, of course. <clears throat> Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Uh, actually, on the topic of these videos, too, and continuing them, uh, I think I've probably made it pretty clear, though, like, back in um, August, well, I guess it was a little bit before August, I had quit my gas station job. And when I first started making these videos, I was unemployed at the time. Um, I didn't even notice I got the, uh, the tribal mask off of one of these dudes. It's like 250 gold, I think. Um, yeah, I had, uh, you know, I fir when I started making these, I was unemployed at the time. And then I got a job because, uh, you know, I was running out of money <laughs> from when I was laid off from my, uh, my supermarket job. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, I got that job. I worked for, like, a, about just under a year. It was, like, 325 days or something that I worked at that job. Um, God, did I hate it, and God was quitting amazing, by the way. But, uh, yeah, so that job, being a minimum wage crap job, did not really get me the boatloads of money that I never thought it was going to get me. Um, so, uh, once again, I'm finding myself running out of money. And uh, once again, that means I'm going to have to uh, find myself another job soon, which I'm not super excited about. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's just go with that. I'm not super excited about that situation, but yeah, I'm going to have to start like a job search. Um, and probably just kind of start like getting on with life. So, uh. While I was, I started with this video with kind of being like, oh, wow, I can't believe I've been at this for almost 100 episodes. Um, I do need to mention that probably by the end of March, I'm going to be, like, massively cutting back my production of videos because uh, I will be poor and have to uh, <laughs> start finding a new job. Yeah, it sucks. I was kind of hoping, like... It's, it's, you know, like when you buy a lottery ticket, for instance, you know you're not going to win big, at least. I mean, there's like a decent chance that you're going to get like a free ticket or like a dollar back or something along those lines. But you know, even then, the odds are against you getting anything in the first place. And in reality, you're, yeah, like in reality, you're probably not getting anything. But even if you get something, it's going to be like insignificant. Like, you know that you're not actually winning the, the jackpot. But, you still kind of hope that you are and, like, think about it. You're like, oh, man, jackpot, yeah. <laughs> jackpot, yeah. Um, so, I got, you know, I got into these videos not expecting to actually make any kind of money. And, like I said, not expecting to get any views or anything like that either. Like, I largely expected this to just be a huge waste of my time, essentially. Um, and I'm happy to say that it wasn't a huge waste of my time and that I did get views that were much higher than what I thought I would ever get. Um, but I'd also kind of hoped on, like, getting, like, actual amounts of ad revenue. Um, and uh, ad revenue is basically not a thing that exists. Everybody runs uh, ad blockers. So 
you basically just don't get ad revenue. My ad revenue, in case anybody's wondering, is something like $4 a month. Uh, considering that I get 400 views a day, um, you know, 400 times three, or yeah, times three, <laughs> times 30, that's uh, like 12,000 views a month I'm getting, give or take. Uh, and I get $4 a month. <clears throat> so, I mean, like, I kind of hope that this would have been, like, an actual viable money stream, and it's, uh, it's pretty clear that it's not, which is highly unfortunate. Um, I'm not looking to make, like, a million dollars, and I'm not even looking to get, like, you know, easy retirement off of this, but it would have been really cool if the, like, earnings that I got from this was, uh, actually enough for me to, like, continue doing this without losing money um basically like uh i think i've got one patreon supporter at the moment who's giving me five dollars a month um thank you sir super oblivion bread is the one's uh my current uh patreon supporter <clears throat> um basically though like patreon takes a little bit of that so i end up with like 420 something like that coming out of it uh with my ad revenue combined i'm making like nine dollars a month which uh, is not paying for really Tibia Premium in the first place. Uh, so I'm actually like a net loss just on premium. Uh, however, I do buy my premium at in like three month increments usually. So, I mean, I'm, I am actually paying for it in that sense because you get that discount when you buy it in a large chunk. So, uh, you know, it is paying for my premium, but I also have to buy a license for this recording program I use. And uh, I think I pay that yearly, and it's like, I think I pay like a $50 for the license for my recording program. Um, so basically, in other words, uh, this whole process of making these videos has been a net loss for me. If you also include the fact that I needed to buy the, um, the microphone, um, to be fair, the microphone does serve a purpose outside of that. Um, for instance, when I play like League of Legends with my friend, we use uh, Discord for a chat service. Um, so it's not like the microphone has been a complete like loss outside of this, but you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, like the supplies like that. Considering the time I spend on this too, like it's definitely been a net loss for me. <laughs> I, I kind of wish it hadn't been. I was kind of hoping just in general that it would cover my, like... Ideally, I was hoping that it would cover my expenses. And then I was also hoping that it would just, like... I would be able to re bring in enough money for making these videos that I could just continue maintain my current, like, lifestyle with it. Uh, like, if I was just getting enough money to pay my bills, I could just continue making my videos forever, and it would be awesome. Uh, that would be, like, I'd be super excited with that. But, uh, yeah, I'm nowhere near that price point, uh, and I'm not even near the price point where I'm, you know, in the black. I'm in the red instead, losing money each each month I continue to do this. For a while, I had uh, additional Patreon supporters, too, uh, and that did help. Although, also, for a while, I had no Patreon supporters, which uh, was the opposite of helping. So, <laughs> you know how it is. Um, but, yeah, so that's that. Uh, basically, though, while I'm super happy that I've been doing this for almost uh, two years, and Leaf is almost at his two-year anniversary, and Leaf is almost at his 100th episode, which is all awesome, uh, at the same time, I'm, like, in the process of going bankrupt in my life, so... <laughs> yeah, that's the life. Um, I actually, I don't even remember how I was going about making these videos back when I was still working at the, the gas station. I do know, though, that, um, like, prior to working at the gas station is when my, uh, like, my aunt, or no, she had moved in, like, three months after I was working at the gas station, is how that worked. Um, but I remember, like, when I first was making these videos, it was awesome, because I could just be like, yo, you know what? I'm just gonna make a video right now. Just right now, gonna make a video. <laughs> Not gonna, you know? Just do it. But now I can't do that, because if it's during the day and, you know, she's home, I can't make videos. 
So I have to make them at night, and that puts it all like at this very short window of opportunity that just sucks for me. Uh, but yeah, anyway, you know, and I've also tried to like upgrade my channel with the little thumbnails and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully, you know, that pans off in the long run. But uh, anyway, before I uh, end this video, I want to get and say that the Leaf video that should be coming out on Saturday will be delayed until Monday so that I can kind of get everybody's feedback. Um, let me know what you guys want me to do for that, uh, that Leaf video. For my 100th Leaf video. Um, meanwhile, people, though, as always, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, Twitter, and I'll see you guys later.